Dating back to the European Renaissance period, when conflicts between city-states oh, were frequent, the new standard piece. bearers with their flags yeah. accompanied by We've blades never done this before. preceded <laughs> the other armed men. Paleo-Dicena theme. Founded 70 we years ago in the same Tuscan the region ball. as Siena, Gruppo Spandiratori di San Sepulcro revived the ancient tradition of flag waving. This world-renowned group has had the honor of performing its art on all seven continents and before many world leaders. This is going to be a treat for <laughs> all in attendance and all watching. And they've marched in four different parades. They've been busy already. I think we're probably catching the audience by surprise here. <laughs> they, they're <laughs> expecting the standard run of show and we've just thrown in something completely new and fun and interesting. I think they're gonna love it. San Sepulcro is only about 90 minutes, away, 90 miles away from Siena. Military significance to this as well. The flag wavers are important uh, in the old medieval Italian uh, military because the throwing of the flag was meant to signal from one portion of the military of the army to another. So this was not just for show, this was very much functional from a military perspective. to make sure that the height of, of the room met the height of the way they throw. That looked pretty close there on that last throw. <laughs>
year. Rex is so honored to be able to pay homage to Italian American contributions to Rex itself and the city of New Orleans. Everything from the Muffalata and St. Joseph's Day altars in New Orleans. got the crowd going. <laughs> to our own Italian influences, uh, many of our float builders came from Viareggio, Italy. In fact, three generations of them who still are here uh, working within the Rex organization today and who brought the Italian style of float building with them to New Orleans. Including uh, the Bertolucci family, Jonathan Bertolucci and his father who initially came. of energy, doesn't it? weren't just signals. Many of them have had blades attached to them and were used in actual fighting, which is being demonstrated here.
goodness. <laughs> Here, don't we? The Italian Renaissance Organization has brought these groups several times to New, uh, to New Orleans. This is the, the best exposure they've ever had. This is uh, th 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 this is great. People see this. Nobody will ever forget the year that the Italian flag wavers, nope. flag throwers came to the ball. What a special presentation. Special thanks to Frank Maselli as well. Yeah. He really helped to make this possible. Frank works closely with the flag wavers, has, has coordinated their, uh, their performances dozens if not hundreds of times. So nice to be able to bring this to our audience and to our viewers. You know, the Italian influence really is everywhere this year, right down to our proclamation, uh, which was created by Italian-American artist Henry Caselli. It pays homage beautifully to the Paleo di Siena and the banners that are incorporated with the horse race.